Hey, it's Brent, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the human mind. Much like a computer, your brain responds to programming, but reprogramming your thinking is a lot harder than upgrading your computer, that's for sure. Many of your current unwanted behaviors stem from unconstructive programming you received as a child. And these old ideas can stand in the way of positive change in your life. Now, in his book, Psycho-Cybernetics, published in 1960, Dr. Maxwell Maltz says, beliefs about ourselves have unconsciously been formed from our past experiences, especially in early childhood. So keep in mind, when you wanna change a particular habit or belief, that the unwanted behavior was built on patterns developed over time. Now in this classic book, Dr. Maltz introduced the idea of a mind-body connection, and that positive outcomes are achieved through changing our attitudes. Here are some simple steps that can help you overcome self-sabotaging tendencies, much like installing new software into the computer of your mind. First, identify the issue. Write down everything you know about the habit, such as when it started and why. Be as detailed and truthful as possible because it's hard to change what you don't acknowledge. Once you acknowledge something, it no longer has power over you. List all the reasons you want to change. According to Dr. Maltz, change the self-image and you change the personality. Next, you need to set realistic goals. Now, if you want to lose weight, for example, saying I want to lose 20 pounds is not enough to bring about lasting change. Now, I use mind power. I lost over 100 pounds after spending my entire life struggling. But what you need to do is this. If you said instead, uh, I will lose 20 pounds before my birthday. Now your mind has a distinct path to follow. You've given it an exact amount of weight and you've actually given it a deadline. But make sure your goal is both realistic and attainable so that you set yourself up for success. The more you succeed, the more you feel good, the more of that you bring into your life. Next, this is one of my favorite things and I talked about it in another video. It's using creative visualization. Using your imagination to picture how you want to behave gives you a huge edge in overcoming unwanted habits because the subconscious mind sees in images. For example, I want you to think about what you had for breakfast right now. Now, in your mind, are you seeing the words, I ate scrambled eggs or do you see scrambled eggs on a plate? So see yourself as having accomplished your goal. If you act as if you've achieved that goal, uh, imagine that you've already accomplished your goal and it will go a long way towards actually achieving it. For instance, uh, someone who's 20 pounds lighter may exercise more or, or feel more confident. So if you already act as if you weigh less, you will automatically start moving more and feeling better about yourself. Now, another favorite of mine is to use positive affirmations. Power words or phrases spoken as if you mean it keep you motivated and help you turn negative programming into positive change. According to experts, including Maltz, it usually takes only 21 days to create change in our self-concept. So you're only 21 days away from the changes you want. Next, reward yourself. Make sure it's a positive reward. Don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back when you do something right for every positive step you make towards achieving your new goal. It's important to reward yourself with something that will make you feel good about yourself and to imprint your newly forming positive habit. The brain is simply a goal striving mechanism that operates very much like a computer. Now Maltz says uh, your mind is unlimited. In fact, your mind is the software that makes you uniquely you. Follow these steps and you can hack into your brain, changing the programming and creating the life of your dreams. Thanks so much for joining me today. Leave your comments down below. I want to know what you're working on, what you need work on, and we're going to do this together. I'm here with you every step of the way. I appreciate you joining me today. So make sure you like, subscribe, and all that stuff. I will see you very, very soon. Thanks again. Have a great day.